Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. In the previous video, I've talked about a mnemonic about Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Today, let's learn more about this ugly disease. It's an X-linked recessive disease, therefore it's more common in boys than girls. And this is the positive Gower's sign, as we'll explain. With that being said, now let's get started. First, let me just say it loud and clear. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is not the same as herb Duchenne palsy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic problem. But herb Duchenne palsy is an injury to the superior trunk of the brachial plexus. Duchenne muscular dystrophy will give you muscular atrophy. But herb Duchenne palsy will give you the waiter's tip, a nerve injury. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is usually associated with intellectual disability, but not the herb Duchenne palsy. Let me say it one more time for the kids at the back. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is not the same as herb Duchenne palsy. Neuromuscular disease of childhood or NMDs are divided into six categories. Anterior horn cell disorders, peripheral neuropathy, disease of the neuromuscular junction, muscular dystrophy, metabolic myopathy, congenital myopathy. Okay, anterior horn cell, give me an example. This is the anterior horn cell and the gray matter of the spinal cord. Example, polio. The incidence of polio has decreased dramatically thanks to the polio vaccine. Peripheral neuropathy, so the problem here is in the nerve, the peripheral nerve, could be disease at the neuromuscular junction, like here, example, myasthenia gravis, Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, etc. Muscular dystrophy include Duchenne muscular dystrophy, which is today's topic. There is another one called Becker's muscular dystrophy, both of which are X-linked recessive, therefore they are commoner in males than females. Metabolic myopathy and congenital myopathies. Again, same things. Remember that the muscular dystrophies include Duchenne, Becker, Lem, Girdle, Emre Dufus, I'm sorry, Emre Dreyfus. I'm so sorry, like an Egyptian guy here. I apologize, I'm sorry. I would rather hang out with Emre than with Dreyfus. I'm so sorry. Congenital muscular dystrophy as well. So the problem could be the spinal cord and the peripheral nerve in the neuromuscular junction or in the freaking muscle. We have discussed the D mnemonic in Duchenne muscular dystrophy in the previous video. It's an excellent recessive disease, therefore it's commoner in boys, and David is a boy. XP 21.2-P 21.3 deletion. Whatever. Duchenne is worse than Becker. Duchenne is devastating. It's a frame shift deletion of the dystrophy gene. What do you mean by frame shift? I mean you delete a number of nucleotides not divisible by three. So you can delete one nucleotide, you can delete two, not three, uh, you can delete four, you can delete five, not six, you can delete seven. You got it? Okay, it's a math class. Come on. Progressive myofiber damage. Loss of dystrophin will lead to muscle necrosis. So there is a dystrophin gene, also known as DMD, for Duchenne muscular dystrophy, we can say that the name of the gene is DMD. The name of the protein is dystrophin protein. If it ends in IN, it's a freaking protein. Hello. This will lead to myonecrosis. There is calf pseudohypertrophy. What does that mean? The muscle tissue has been replaced by fatty and connective tissue. This is not good. Positive Gower sign. The patient is dependent on his arms in order to stand up. The patient cannot stand up without support of his arms. There is the waddling gait. Please use your search engine to look at this because you need to see a picture or better, a video. Increase CPK and aldolase in the serum because it's a muscle damage. Cause of death is usually dilated cardiomyopathy. So here is the positive Gower sign. This is the child sitting. Okay, honey, please stand up. Normal kids will just use their legs and stand up, but the, these kids with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, they have to use their upper limbs for support and they take like time in order to stand up like this. This is really sad. You can get my antibiotics course from medicosisperfectionist.com. Use the promo code antibiotic60 to get 60% discount and this is limited for 25 students only. Or even better, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope 2020 is going to be better for you. Just smile, okay? Be happy. Use the promo code BY2019-60 to get 60% off any products and limitations apply. Go to medicosisperfectionist.com. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. More notes about Duchenne. The deletion is in this gene. By the way, this is the same gene that's deleted in Bicker's muscular dystrophy. There is increased risk of malignant hyperthermia. There is increased risk of osteoporosis. The degree of pulmonary function decline 
is correlated with the need for ventilator. The worse the decline in pulmonary function, the greater the need in ventilation. Dilated cardiomyopathy, heart failure, ventricular arrhythmia can happen. This deletion, some think there is a syndrome or a disease called contiguous gene syndrome. That's the deletion of three freaking things. The gene for Duchenne, glycerol kinase, and the NR0B1 gene. The first one will give you Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The second one will give you something called glycerol kinase deficiency. And the third one will give you psychomotor retardation. So they come together in a package. It's called contiguous gene syndrome. The word syndrome means many symptoms not usually related, but they come together. This disease is also associated with adrenal hypoplasia congenita. Please be careful. Adrenal hypoplasia congenita is not the same as congenital adrenal hyperplasia. This is hypoplasia and this is hyperplasia. Big difference. Let me repeat that for the woke students. There is a difference between adrenal hypoplasia congenita or congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is usually asymptomatic at birth. And then there is independent ambulation, which means the kid is actually able to walk on, its, oh, on his own with no support. But then there is deterioration. This ability to walk on your own is lost before the age of 13. There is progressive proximal muscle weakness. Proximal, not necessarily distal. There is contracture. What's the difference between contraction and contracture? Contraction is for a muscle, contracture is for a joint. Contraction is usually normal, contracture is abnormal. Scoliosis, intellectual impairment is common, but intellectual disability with an IQ of less than 70 is not that common in these patients. It's usually about 20% or 30% of the cases will show a very low IQ, which is below 70, but most of them will show slight decline in IQ, but it's not so severe. Most of them can function normally in a classroom setting with some support. How can you diagnose Duchenne muscular dystrophy? You need a PCR for the dystrophin gene or the DMD gene. You can do some serum lab tests. Increased CPK and aldolase are noted. Muscle biopsy will show proliferation of endomesial connective tissue. This is not good. We need to see muscle is not connective tissue. Scatter degeneration and regeneration of myofibers and increased mononuclear cells such as the macrophages. Recommendation. Use PFTs and repeat them because there is a risk of respiratory paralysis. Chest physiotherapy and you should repeat echocardiography. Usually it's about every two years or every one year depending on the age of the patient and the severity of the disease. How to manage Duchenne muscular dystrophy? Unfortunately, there is no cure available. You manage it symptomatically. You give digoxin for the heart failure. You give antibiotics for lung infections. You vaccinate. You can give steroids to manage the inflammation because steroids are anti-inflammatory. You can use surgery to correct the scoliosis and you can use physiotherapy to help the lung function. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to my website. You can purchase anything from my website. It's 60% off with the promo code by 201960. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified and click on the join button to literally join the tribe. You can follow me on all of these platforms. Thank you so much for supporting my work. Thank you so much for being part of Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. In the next video, we'll talk about Vickers muscular dystrophy. See ya.